Welcome back to the Twin Planet. <laughs> is it the Twin Planet now? Well, two no, two okay. Twin Planet. I don't know. That sounds better. You say the, the Twin Planet. I like that. Um, we wanted to do a video um, kind of on the tag list. Um, I'm not sure how you say, is it ETA, Nick? But yeah, that's how we say it. That's how we say it. But um, he made a global tag of the top five books that you regret selling in your history of comic collecting. Um, so we wrote down five, and we haven't really sold that much um, no. over time because we started just a few years ago. Yeah, we mainly just sell modern comics that we buy and read and then resell on eBay. Yeah. But so. uh, I, we do have a couple eBay stores. I have one, he has one. Um, and then we sell on the CGC forums. So here's five books. Um, I Not this one. This is just... This is just a kind setup. of a comic of the day type thing. Yeah, we'll switch this out every every video just for something interesting to look at. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know if I have any pictures left on my computer of these books because I have to delete the images to save space. Yeah. But we'll put pictures up of the books. Uh, oh, um, not our books that we sold, but uh, reference. Stuff, so. Yeah. Um, Okay, I guess I'm going to start with... Yeah, and I don't necessarily regret no. selling them. Because we, we made more than we bought them for. Yeah, exactly. And I don't really regret selling anything I've no. done. But I guess these are books that I kind of that we kind of think about. Like, that we're like, uh, maybe we maybe should have held on to them. Held on to yeah. them. So, okay, um, I guess I'm going to start with Wolverine number 10, which was something I sold within a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was in... Like a nine point four. Yeah, it was maybe a little really better. Nice. Maybe. And we didn't yeah. pay that much for it at all. No, I know. I think I paid like under 10? under ten. Oh, under ten. It was like eight and or something. Then we sold it for more than that. We sold it for like twenty six. Yeah. Um, um, but it was in such great shape, and yeah. you know, it's a popular cover. There, I remember there being a little fox sitting on it, so yeah. that's what kept it like tiny, tiny, tiny amount amount yeah. of fox ink. So it's like a near mint. Yeah. Um, we kind of bought it. Intending to resell it anyway. Yeah. But now that I look back, because it was such great condition. Well, and that yeah. was what? That was the, f I think, the first time Wolverine and Sabretooth had F fought each other. Yeah. Um, okay. The next one would be um, two books that I've sold together that I bought um, for $3 each, which was Marvel Premiere 48, uh, sorry, 47 and 48. You might need to speak up. Ah, uh, no, maybe not. Um, 47, 48, which is the first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man. And also the first appearance of the villain, right? Yeah, the uh, the guy that Corey Stahl played. I can't remember. In the movie. movie. In the movie. But um, bought this for $3 each, like, two years ago. Yeah. And sold them, like, a year ago. For 55 For 55 together. Which was a which, which great a profit. profit, and I was happy to do it. Um, the... The 47 was in about an 8.0. Very fine. A very fine. And then the 48 was in... Uh, a 6. I think it, it was, was like a 5. Fine. Yeah. So, I mean, we made a, a great good profit. profit. Um, and they haven't really went up much no. since then. But, you know, the thing is, since Scott Lang is going to be in this new... Yeah, they're really... America movie. ...doing a lot with him since yeah. Ant-Man. I've sold it because of the Ant-Man hype. But, yeah. Uh, the movie hype. So but maybe... But it's I'm fine. not a huge fan of Ant-Man in the movies anyway. I don't... Think they did that great of a job in that movie? No, no but in the first one at least. In, in the this, Civil War, he might be a lot might be. better. And I like the character pretty okay, yeah. but that first the, the movie was okay. Yeah. Um, okay, next is I remember selling a lot of World's Finest books that we had, the kind of lowest grade World's Finest books. I sold it on eBay, and as I was looking through them, um, I realized that one of them was a double cover. That. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. See, I haven't even read hey, I, I what, what Joey's down. written down here. I know. There was a double Dang, cover World's I Finest. I forgot about that. I know, and, but I, I went ahead and <laughs> sent it to the buyer with a, a message, him or her, I'm not sure. Yeah. Told them that they were going to get a double cover. But I, they're kind of a bit more collectible, I guess, depending on who's buying them. But I kind of wish I, I had known that before I listed it. Because yeah. it, it was like in the. That's crazy. What was that, early 70s? Uh, I can't remember which number it was. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and 
I think the last one will be Marvel Premiere 4. 3. 3. Marvel Premiere 3, yeah. which was when Doctor Strange first came over into the premiere and he had his own right. run there. Yeah. And it was kind of low grade, but yeah. I had given that away for free in a thread on the CGC forums called Pay It Forward. Maybe some of you know what that is. It's basically you trade each other free books. Yeah. Alright, um, become a planeteer if you yeah. haven't. That would subscribe. be awesome. That would be awesome. I only think we have 21 subscribers. Which is awesome. It's really cool. And the fir uh, of course, since this is a response to Nick, I want to say to thank him for being our first subscriber other than our family members. Yeah. He was the first subscriber. We're going to head out. Um, I will see you in the next video. Nineteen seventy two.